on this day, the sixth day of December, we may be all in disagreement that the Mexicans brought COVID-19 to Abaco, but we all would be in agreement that the first place in Abaco where COVID-19 was discovered was in Baker's Bay. And at the time, over 100 Mexicans, the best workers in the Bahamas today. But it seems like that trend is catching. I don't know if the director of immigration, Clarence Russell, know that there are Mexicans now doing mason work in Treasure Key at Palm Bay in Treasure Key next to the old fish cleaning station in Treasure Key. I noticed that my member of parliament, Darren Henfield, has been spotted in Abaco for the longest period ever. Uh, Record-breaking three days he's been spotted in North Abaco. I don't know what him and the uh, Minister of Education are going to do with the primary school. I see them down there. I don't know why they're looking at that. What are they going to do there? Because they broke. Thank God for the NGOs to help with other schools. Abaco Central, Patrick J. Bell, and Caps. Thank God for them. Those schools would never have been completed under this government. But when we ask the Minister of Foreign Affairs that ought to have known that there were over 100 Mexicans was coming to Baker's Bay, he denied it. He said, absolutely not. It shall not happen. Now, I know he has uh, his eyes and ears down there, the chairman of Treasure Key. I don't know if she called Darren to bring these Mexicans to work into Treasure Key. The question is, these Mexicans seems like they're popping up like Crocker Jack. Who is importing these Mexicans over Bohemian that needs the job? Thus, the minister, the member of parliament, the minister of foreign affairs, Darren Henfield, know that Mexicans are popping up all over Treasure Key. And the big question is, why the fight to contain this deadly disease have these Mexicans been tested before they were given these short time work permit to work into Treasure Key? Did Darren Henfield as member of parliament of North Abaco agreed to make sure that these Mexicans got job over his North Abaconians? That is the question. Because as Minister of Foreign Affairs, Darren know everybody who's coming into this country to work, and especially in his district of North Abaco. If he doesn't know, he's just absolutely more weightless than I thought he was. Because Kai Mills, if I was the member of Parliament for North Abaco, I would have known that Mexican is coming into Treasure Key to take bread and butter out of the people of North Abaco that needs the job badly. So, Clarence Russell, I can send this to you. You, by all means, send it to Darren and ask him, why is Mexicans working at Palm Bay in Treasure Key and elsewhere in Treasure Key today. I'll send you the video of them laying brick today. You see, yesterday was their Sabbath, so they lay in bricks today. Sabbath is gone. But why are they taking jobs from the people 
of North Abaco. That is the question for my member of parliament, my good cousin, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Darren Henfield. That is what you get when you have members of parliament that on vacation, they come here two days, three days, gone for four or five months. My God, Darren has been missing for one year and three months. We're still, boy, are we waiting to have that flaw, that form, whenever he decides that his people is worth speaking to and he doesn't live here. And if he could please ask us what is priority, what does the people of North Abaco need? He brought us seeds. <laughs> we ain't need no seed there, and you keep your seed. Building material, building material, bring lots of building material there in Henfield. That would be a good look. And then you got a, your, your buddy out there uh, uh, from Ragged Island. Uh, um, can't think of his name right now, but it, it'll come to me. Edward Curlin. <laughs> Ed, so you got plenty of money to put on the ground. You all need to bring the barge full of lumber. Don't bring no Mexicans. It's a bohemian thing. It's an abaco thing. You bring the lumber, we'll do the work. And by the way, Darren, while Ed is bringing lumber for you, bring enough lumber so that they could fix the dock in Crown Haven, my Lord. Y'all ain't got no shame. That dock is the gateway to for people from North Abaco that are going through Freeport to go to Florida, the ones that are afraid to fly. That's a hazard, a health hazard. One year, three months, and today is the sixth day. Darren can find $5,000 worth of lumber. I'm pretty sure there's some diehard FNMs down there that are carpenter that can do the work free. All you need to do is puck it up, that $100,000 that you've been getting illegally, and buy the lumber. They shall do the work. That's one of these Kai kids just trying to give you some information because you don't even care to spend some time around people that knows what needs to be done. Kai cares. Bring the lumber, Darren. Get rid of the Mexicans or the treasure key. We can do the work. Kai cares. That's why he's here. 